Good afternoon. Today we're going to do a production preview for the King Collection of Antique Textiles. Quilts, coverlets, rugs, blankets, hook drugs, mean blankets, and a few other odds and ends textiles. Here at the office, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. I'm going to walk through and talk about the rugs and the small pieces first. And then I'm going to have Amy handle the camera while I open up some of the quilts and coverlets so you can get a better idea of those. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them below uh, or uh, give us a call at the end of the, you know, some other time. But uh, there's some really interesting hooked rugs in this auction. And you can see we have them kind of spattered up the building. Oh, this one's backwards. <laughs> see if I can get that with one hand. Oh, I can. Check it out. Basket, uh, fruit basket's kind of cool. This hooked rug is really wonderful. Probably 1930s or 40s. Had a local expert come in and look at it. Thought maybe from the 50s, but the condition is just wonderful. And the colors are great. If you notice, there's... Um, different variations of the purples and the colors uh, don't like they're um, it's not all just pink or red it's like different tones and colors of those colors you get a lot of depth some neat uh, geometrics like the circles this one's really cute the girl in the big dress blowing in the breeze the, the pair of sheer drugs are fun a lot of people like the Native American pillow and the chenille piece here with the old burlap back. Kind of a fun deal. We'll look more at those textiles in a minute when Amy's got the phone. <clears throat> Love the birds. Those are really cute. These uh, kids' socks are just really super sweet. Obviously, we didn't take them out of the frame, but they're just wonderful. A lot of people dig the old Christmas stockings. I gotta tell you, I've never seen ones from this age in anything close to this condition. And there's three of them, so that's pretty cool. The Arthur Murray handkerchief is cool. Really dig the Buddy Lee weed uh, jeans, uh, Nikes. And then, of course, the Buddy Lee doll uh, overalls are super cute and uh, pretty hard to find. One, much less five pair. It's a pretty neat little hop along piece. This uh, hooked rug here was the was this King's favorite rug in a collection. Actually brought this to Antiques Roadshow years ago, and they told her it was pretty unique. They hadn't seen one quite like it. Uh, gave her a roadshow type valuation on it at the time of at least $1,200. Of course, times change. That's a textile dealer's information from the East Coast, but uh, it's a pretty wonderful, almost looks like an impressionist painting, right? Very, very cool. Again, if you're watching, have any questions, post them here. I'm going to post a link to the auction just to say in, this, in the video in a minute. Really dig the hooked rug of the dog. Unfortunately, the right end, as you're looking at it, has some issues. It could be stabilized, I am sure. Uh, and for you ladies who out there uh, do hooked rugs, you could probably re repair that. And then, of course, we have a couple of uh, just textile rag rugs over here. I'm going to hand the phone to Amy, and we'll walk back and do the quilts, because I need two hands to show those. We'll start with this one here, which is one of my favorites in the auction. Churn Dash, Dash and Churn. What's really cool about this one, see great big, good early fabrics, but the back side is a completely different quilt, which I think is really wonderful. And a great, you know, most quilts just have the one pattern on one side and nothing on the back. But this one has this great secondary pattern. Um, a lot of really cool squares, a lot of great old fabric. And we will fold these up more neatly after the video, folks, but I'm just going to put them off to the side for now. Here's another one of my favorite quilts in the auction. It's kind of just a generic fruit basket or flower basket, except that there's work on some of the fruit. And a good size. But you can see there's applique on some of them. There's some stitch work, some needlework. And then there's, where's the deep ones? To my right? Down. Down, down, down. Right. Oh. <laughs> There we Almost go. like a chenille bedspread kind of a deal. But just again, in a, and this one's in really nice condition. Some of these textiles, you, know, you want to make sure you look at all the pictures, ladies and gentlemen, because some of these are in better shape than others. But uh, this one is in really nice condition. I love the colors and the pattern. Um, this is another really cool one, really good stitch comp on this. And I just love the simplicity of it. And sometimes quilts can be really busy, but this one is uh, just has a great kind of 
a variation of a star pattern, right? But it's just good colors. It's oh, more... good. Donna managed to, to get her password. Hi, Donna. That's great. <laughs> You're welcome. That was... <laughs> if you have questions about any aspect of the auction, let us know. We will help you get registered, logged in, and get you ready to bid on these great textiles. Um, but yeah, this is one of, another nice one. I'm not really going to spend much time with the double wedding ring. That's a, you know, a pretty standard quilt, but good colors. There's some neat blankets. Some good color combinations. This uh, like darkish brown and the cream is just, I think, a really nice, pleasing. It's really thin, too. It's, it's like a shawl, almost. It's yeah. very soft. Good summer reading weight. Late afternoon kind of a deal. And I dig the checkerboard. I always have. These little camp blankets like that. You know, it's warm. It's got some red wear on it, but the colors are fun. And uh, checkerboard's always awesome. Another cool blanket there. Let's kind of go past that one. Let's see what we have here. That is interesting. Oh, love the colors on this. The red and the orange and the white. Or cream or really. This one needs a good clean up. That is white. Just over years. More of a white, brighter white. But you know, really graphic. Could really make a statement in a room. And uh, in really nice shape on that one as well. If you have questions about anything in particular, let us know. We're just kind of going through uh, as we run across these. This quilt has so many little squares. I mean, look at that. How much work was put into that. All these little squares are barely an inch. And um, this is a rather large quilt. And then it's also interesting because the edges are not, it's not squared off. It's trying, you know, they, they, they made them diamond points. So one of these ends is a square end. It's not on the top of the bed. But you can see there's a lot of boom chick on this one, as Evelinda used to say. <laughs> um, there's just a lot going on. I really dig it. I mean, it's, it's fun, right? Because you can like ones that are really simple and the ones that are really ornate and very involved. Um, they both have their uses. And the colors are pretty strong on this. It's just, it, again, it's a good, a good bath. If you do quilts, you know how that can go. Kind of go past those. The quilt racks will be the next option. The, the coverlets are nice. I'm not going to really open them up much because they are a bit fragile, but it's nice to actually have dated coverlets. 1840. Pretty nice one there. Again, these are both, they both have some issues. This color, again, colors on this one are different. They're very similar to that one rug we put, blanket we pulled out. Uh, that kind of darkish brown tone, but this is a color combination that I've not seen in a coverlet before. And uh, the woman who came in to give us a little bit of an advice on these said she hadn't seen one of that colorway either. So, kind of a nice little piece right there. And again, another coverlet here dated. This was 1832. 1859. It's two because the sides were. Oh, down. 1852. Yeah. Um, yeah, one picture looks like 59, but it's actually the bottom edges have worn off on that side, so it's actually 52. This is super cute. This would be great in a shadow box, like a kid's room or nursery. <clears throat> and this is just kind of a whimsy piece. And that's a really nice early flame stitch textile that they put in this good old frame. They put in this almost like a paper towel holder to make it look like a little miniature fire screen. So it looks better than it is, but the textile is still really nice. Let's walk back into the front room here. These, this is really cool. I've got a picture with me and Melissa here. I don't think I can back up far enough. <laughs> Probably not. This is one long textile, and I am sure, I'm just going to hold up one end. I am sure that these are pillow covers of some sort or something like that. Each one of these flags should be its own thing, right? I think there's 19 of them, so you really buy 19 flags that you could cut down and easily frame, make into a pillow, uh, all kinds of fun things. Uh, first, I thought it was bunting in the house because that's what you'd expect with the big red, white, and blue textile like this, but you can see that it just goes on and on and on. It's like a clown car, <laughs> <laughs> except it's a textile. <laughs> There's one Paisley in the, in the collection, which is surprising that they had one and didn't have more, right? But 
it's a good old paisley that uh you know nice colors nice work i always like the back of a paisley there's so much going on and so much depth that means there any questions going on there i see a lot of donna really really likes the postage stamp quilt yeah that's really that's really a fun one this 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 blank is interesting. It has the number in bright. I'm wondering if that was like May 9th, 1965 or something. Along. 1865. You think 1965? I don't know. It doesn't look like a 150 old blanket no, to me. No. I think it's probably a 30s or 40s blanket that was sent to camp. Oh, maybe. It's actually used at camp. Speaking of camp blankets that are unusual, again, I don't think you need that far enough because we have two of these, right? That look like two blankets that were never cut. <clears throat> See right here, if you look, you got this. Oh, <laughs> there's a chair like, there. It's like barcode strip here and a barcode strip there and there, but there's this, I think it's supposed to be cut in this black and you have two, two blankets because it's plenty long enough to be two blankets. Or maybe fold it over on itself and use for like winter weight. I don't know, but it, I've never seen any like this before, and there are two in this collection like it, which is unusual. We're kind of getting to the end of a couple of nice quilt or coverlets. Nice tricolor that's always a little bit more hard to find the red, white, and blue. And then the blue and white, and I like these that have the reverse, if I can find a corner. Blue and white, and white and blue. I always like that reverse kind of negative. And I don't know if this one is old or not, but I just thought it was very, almost elegant. I love that really fine uh, pattern and really nice lightweight. Again, a really good curl up on the couch, read a blanket, read a blanket, read a book blanket. <laughs> I guess you could read a blanket. Yeah, we could read this textile, <laughs> the Roll Touch textiles. These are curtain panels advertising the Roll Touch sewing, no sewing, uh, laundry system, right? You got the top. Oh, this is upside down. Yeah. Yeah, so she is, um, these were probably in some sort of country store. And you can kind of see, you can see in person really well, the different, uh, you know, chores, tasks. Is she holding a boot or a sock? A glove? I can't tell. But... Pretty unusual. You don't find advertising textiles like this very often. A couple more quilts. Again, more nice. The red and white's really fun too, but the red's faded, right? That'd be really striking if the red was like this, like it was originally. But nice pattern and still bold. I like two color quilts because it makes it easy to decorate a room with. And if you like yellow, which is a really popular color right now, this would be a good color, a good quilt to use in a good spring bath bedroom. Um, again, nice weight, good summer weight on that quilt. Uh, easy to use and, and manage with. Big star. Not a Texas star, right? It's uh, just a starburst quilt. Yeah. A bunch of stars and oh, nice little flowers. So that's kind of it. If you have any questions, post them here. Um, we'll post this video in the catalog here shortly. Send an email as well. Yeah, we're pretty excited to bring this collection to you. We've had some really good success with the silver and the antiques portion of it. Have another, we have three other auctions online right now. We just listed our fourth auction online today. Uh, so there's a lot to choose from on the website. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day and good luck in the auctions.